folks, this is Josh, Journey Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. It's going to get hot today. We are going to be cutting down some trees. We've got a few trees we want to take out here on the farm, and we also had a few limbs to go down in a big storm, and we're going to work on those limbs. I've just made a decision that I'm going to go ahead and cut them up for firewood, but we're going to use the Wicked 55 grapple from Everything Attachments today. We're going to try out this little B3350 Kubota tractor. We're going to have a little bit of fun and give you kind of a how-to and review and a little bit of information on this grapple. Hopefully, it's a rock star. So come along today, we're gonna have some fun, we're gonna drop a few trees, and we're gonna clean up some mess left over by the storm, pile all the brush up so we can burn it at a later date. All right? So guys, first things first, we've got to go ahead and get our Husqvarna 460 Rancher chainsaw all filled up and filled up with bar oil. So we'll fill up the bar oil tank here and we'll fill up the fuel tank. This takes a 50 to 1 fuel to oil ratio. It's a two cycle engine. We'll get this guy nice and shaken up. This is my chainsaw and weed eater gas container. Pretty much everything takes a 50 to 1 ratio. And I like to try and spill some in the back of the gator every time I use this machine. So let's see if we can accomplish that today. I have a toolbox just dedicated to chainsaw stuff for here on the farm. And to be honest with you, I have just been dying to get out and work with my saw. Um, this thing is a, is a monster. I love using it. I love running it. It's a 23 inch bar or 24 inch bar on this thing. So really, really like it. It's been a great saw here on the farm. If I can remember <laughs> how to adjust it, it's been uh, quite some time since I've used the thing. There we go, little buddy. You know, sometimes you just don't use something for a little while. There we go, we get our blade nice and tight or our chain nice and tight. Wouldn't want to offend any of you chainsaw gurus by calling the chain a blade. Get this guy fired up and get him warmed up to good operating temperature here. This has a compression release, so I'll hit the compression release, pump it four or five times, and best thing, the safest thing, lock your bar and have it on the ground. There we go. Lock our bar down, set him on the ground, we'll get our safety equipment on. I always like to wear my safety shield, my face shield, and my hearing protection, and also steel toe boots and these chainsaw chaps. There'll be a link down below to a kit that includes all this stuff. This is not pro sawyer equipment, okay? But this is homeowner grade equipment and it'll save your noggin and it'll save your legs. Shame on me for not getting out here earlier this morning. I should have been out here at seven o'clock. It's about nine o'clock and it's getting hot. Okay, so as we're walking down here to the trees I'm gonna cut, I wanna talk to you about why we're cutting these trees and what the whole purpose here is. Uh, what we're doing, my septic field is right there behind me and these trees are gonna grow into my septic field. This was not my plan. When we built this house, this was not my plan. This was not my idea. We got approval from the uh, county to put our septic field right here. But for some reason, the county thought it would be appropriate for us to put our septic field near a couple monster trees. So up there by the tractor, there were two pecan trees. I had to cut those because they're growing into the, the leech field. And basically the field, the septic field goes out through there one run and three runs go out through here and the trees are just right here. So these are huge poplar trees and they're gonna cause a problem in the future and that's why we're dropping them. Just in case you guys are really worried about the trees and how wonderful they are, they're beautiful, beautiful trees, but I've got to get rid of them. I've gotta drop them. I'm gonna drop one today, maybe two, but that's the reason behind it. So let's get busy. <laughs> take big red here and see if we can knock this out our next cut is going to be right here on the back side slightly above where we've notched out <laughs> Now 
Nice, nice drought. Awesome. So what we'll do from here is we'll cut this tree into sections and get the brush off of it and we'll take what my neighbor normally would use for firewood up to his house and we'll take the brush and haul it off down to our pile in the woods. You know what, tree number one went down without a hitch. It went down so good, I think I'm gonna take tree number two down also. We'll go ahead and drop both trees right now. <laughs> This is a big tree. Rad. Okay, so we'll cut these guys up and we'll show you the grapple in action and the next piece of tree that we've got to get cut down. There's a big old branch that broke off the side of a hickory tree down here in the woods. So we're going to go ahead and do that as soon as we start dropping a few limbs out here. So we're really exposed out here in the hot sun and we want to work in the shade when it's a little warmer this afternoon. So no more septic field problems here. That's going to be good. We're going to cut these up. We'll use it for firewood. All this wood will be utilized. It'll be awesome. This is when the wood miser sawmill would really come in handy. Bat house. This bat house was donated by the S Sustainable Homestead Institute in uh, Spencer, Virginia. You guys check their channel out. We got business to take care of. Let's get her done. There's one tree cut up, ready to go. And the reason we're gonna be using the Wicked Grapple is because it just saves time and labor. So it's hot, you see me sweating out here. It's gonna be in the 90s today and we'll be sitting comfortably on the tractor gathering up our brush. So really the reason for having a grapple like this is labor and time savings. It's a huge, huge time and labor savings. Plus, you don't have to get over in there and take a chance on falling down or anything, getting hurt. So, let's go down. We'll cut the branch down by the creek. Guys, I hope you're having fun with this today. Please, pound that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel, if you've never seen this stuff, or even if you're old to the channel and you haven't subscribed. Leave me some comments down there. Tell me what you think. It's good stuff. We're going to get down here. I'll show you this limb that's hanging. It's a... Uh, Great big limb that kind of fell off of a rotten hickory tree down here by the creek. So, kind of right in front of our house. It almost fell out the road. This is our next project right here. Good stuff. That's where it busted right off up there at the top. So, the thought process here will be, I'll start cutting out this direction, and as I work my way closer, it should break loose from the branch up there from the trunk of the tree. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to get the backhoe down here to knock that thing off. It just ain't coming. Whew, it's hot. Phew, man, I am sticky. It is super hot. My shirt is soaking wet. I don't know if you guys can tell. Before we get started running the grapple and I get to relax on a nice, comfortable tractor, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. So this is the Everything Attachments 55-inch Wicked Root Rake. This thing features quarter-inch steel, hand-built, hand-welded in their factory in Newton, North Carolina. They ship within 1,000 miles for free. This is not cheap steel. This is American Steel AR400. It's nine inch spacing between the tines. Again, I tell you, everything is hand welded. We have greasable fittings in here so you can keep it greased up so that it'll last a really long time. Now we're gonna put it to the test and we're gonna put this little tractor to the test. So my neighbors burn wood year round in these water stoves. So they have water stove for their hot water and they have water stove for their heat. So those guys are burning wood year round and they glass gladly take the wood. I've got a little wood stove in my shop, but I probably don't use but maybe a cord of wood a year or something like that. Depending on how much we have you guys in the shop this winter working on projects. If we get the Jeep in there or the Bronco or whatever it is we decide to build in the winter time. Got some cool winter projects coming for sure. The thing about buying a grapple like this from a company 
in America, in North Carolina, is you can pick up the phone and call the guy that owns the factory. You can pick up the phone and call the guy that built it and say, hey man, here's a problem I'm having what can I do? And that's the main thing, that you're not buying this from some tractor dealer, that you have to go through three or four different people when you have a problem. Okay, so we got about an hour's worth of cleanup to get done here. We're gonna go ahead and get busy. When we get done, I'll come back and tell you what I think about the gravel. All right, so get ready. Well, we got the job done. I'm gonna have to say that I'm really happy with the grapple. The only limitation of the grapple is the horsepower of the tractor. As you can see, that is a big log. That thing's holding a big old log right there. No problems whatsoever, just the limitations of the tractor. The coolest thing I like about the grapple is that it rides along the ground and it digs in very, very gently. In other words, it doesn't tear the ground up like the other grapple we've got on our bigger tractor. I do like it, it's strong, it works good, and we're gonna finish up loading these logs on my buddy's dump truck and take them out to his house and let him cut them up for firewood. So, awesome guys. Thanks a lot. Please pound that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm. All right, woo! We'll come on down to the Stony Ridge, bring your wife and bring your kids We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Ooh, this seat is hot. Oh, baby. Roasting my toasting my booty. Timber! Rad.